All right, guys, I am so impressed with Google's Gemini 2.5 Flash that I want to show you exactly what it is capable of inside of WeGPT. Now, real briefly, worth noting, Gemini 2.5 Flash is one of Google's smaller models. I won't go into all the technical details that makes this model so lightweight and efficient, but just know that it is one of the most cost-effective models that Google Gemini offers. Now, conventional wisdom might suggest that a smaller, lightweight model is going to struggle outputting large, complex code bases. And this generally is true of language models and of generative AI, where the overall model size and the weighting of the model scales with its capability. The larger the model, the more capable it is. But this is where it's instructive to learn about WeGPT. WeGPT operates all of its models inside of a highly agentic tool calling framework. And the usefulness and the power of this agentic framework is true regardless of the task. It doesn't have to be technical or programming. It could be research, it could be creative writing, whatever the task may be. So you're going to see after this single prompt where I instruct the model to generate a plan and, and then execute against that plan, that Gemini 2.5 Flash is going to choose to take small incremental steps and lay out its plan and then execute against that plan in small enough, manageable enough sizes that it actually is able to produce a highly performant and highly capable result. So you see, for its first step, it just created the background with the sky and the ground visible, and it even lays out that, that its next step is going to be to prepare the bases and the cities and the missile silos at the bottom. And now it confirms that it did add those missile silos and the cities at the bottom, and as it moves on to the next step, I'm just going to tab back and refresh the playground, and there it is. Now, for the first half of this video, I'm recording at 1x speed, and I'm just tabbing back and forth as it's as the agents are building out the next phase. In this case, it's adding a missile targeting cursor that tracks the mouse cursor. So it does indicate that that is done, and now as it moves on to the next step of adding uh, player missiles, I'm going to go ahead and refresh the playground, and there it is. Uh, hovering over the mouse cursor is a red targeting cursor. All the while, in the background, it was committing the uh, next change, which added in player missiles. And so now I can go ahead and refresh my canvas. And when I click, I should be able to see firing of player missiles from my silos. Now, so far, nothing happens when they hit their destination. There's no explosion because that's just not what Gemini 2.5 Flash has built so far. And right now, it's working on adding in enemy missiles, which it's going to complete now and then commit. And then it mentions that it's going to move on to adding details like visual effects for the explosions. But if I go back to my playground and I refresh, now I have enemy missiles descending from the sky. I can click and fire my player missiles up from my cannons. And so now for the remainder of this video, I'm just going to fast forward through all of the remaining turns that this model is going to take. It's going to implement in visual effects for the explosions, collision detections so that they, the enemy missiles can be destroyed by those explosion effects a score tracking and tallying system, a continuous game state management system between beginning, middle of game, and end of game sequences. The distinction here being that each one of these individual smaller tasks is within the scale and scope and reach and capability of these smaller models, and that in total it's going to add up to a much more polished missile command game. And so here we are after five or seven minutes of this autonomous agent going through all of the different development phases and stages and implementation steps powered principally by Gemini 2.5 Flash. We have a complete game, complete with a canvas and background. We have our bases and missile silos, cities, player cursor for targeting, player fired missiles, incoming enemy missiles, explosions with collision detection, scoring, full game state looping, game over and restart mechanisms. This is Missile Command. All of the features are working. Our cities take damage and get destroyed. And let's take a look at the end game and restart mechanics. I'll include the link to this playground wherever this video is posted so you can go ahead and try it out for yourself. And just to recap, this was all built out by a single prompt that kicked off a series of agentic, self-regulated, self-executing steps that was powered by Gemini 2.5 Flash inside of chat.wegpt.ai.